The content on this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always consult your doctor, physician, or other qualified healthcare providers with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition, procedure, or treatment, whether it is a prescription medication, over-the-counter drug, vitamin, supplement, or alternative. This video makes no guarantees about the efficacy or safety of products or treatments. Hey there! Welcome back to our channel! Today we're going to talk about popular blood thinners and how they work. It's important to know about the medications we take, especially when it comes to our health. Understanding how these blood thinners function can help us make informed decisions about our treatment. So let's dive in! Blood thinners, also known as anticoagulants, are medications that prevent the formation of blood clots in our bloodstream. They work by targeting different pathways of the coagulation cascade, ensuring smooth blood flow without any harmful clot formation. Now let's take a look at some commonly used blood thinners and their brief overview. 1. Apixaban, or Eliquis. Apixaban is a selective inhibitor of the XA clotting factor in the coagulation cascade. By inhibiting this factor, it prevents the formation of blood clots. It's often prescribed for patients with atrial fibrillation or deep vein thrombosis. 2. Rivaroxaban and Adoxaban. These blood thinners work similarly to Apixaban by inhibiting the XA clotting factor. Rivaroxaban is used for managing deep vein thrombosis, while Adoxaban reduces the risk of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. It's important to note that these medications can have some side effects, such as bleeding, nausea, hematuria, blood in urine, and bruising. If you want to learn more about the side effects of blood thinners, check out the link in the description. Next up is the Bigatran, also known as Pradoxa. It's a potent inhibitor of thrombin, a key enzyme involved in blood clot formation. The Bigatran binds to both clot-bound and free thrombin, preventing the formation of blood clots. However, it should be used with caution in patients with a history of hypersensitivity reactions and bleeding risks. Like any other blood thinner, the Bigatran may cause side effects, such as bleeding, black or red-colored stools, stomach discomfort, pain, or blood in the vomit. Finally, let's talk about warfarin, one of the most commonly used blood thinners. It's a competitive vitamin K antagonist. Vitamin K is necessary for synthesizing clotting factors, so when warfarin inhibits vitamin K, clotting factors are reduced, preventing clot formation. Warfarin has been proven effective in reducing the risk of death in patients with myocardial infarction, stroke, or thromboembolic events. However, warfarin also has some side effects, with bleeding incidents and hemorrhage being the most common. Hemorrhages can occur anywhere in the body and can be challenging to manage. Now that we have a basic understanding of these blood thinners, let's briefly discuss the coagulation cascade. This cascade is a natural process that forms clots to prevent excessive bleeding when an injury occurs. However, when blood clots form abnormally, blood thinners are necessary. The coagulation cascade involves various factors that work together to form a clot. It has two pathways, the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway. Both pathways meet at a common point, activating factor X which leads to the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin, creating a blood clot. To wrap it up, blood thinners are life-changing medications that can prevent serious conditions like venous thromboembolism, heart attack, and stroke. There are different types of blood thinners available, each with its own mechanism of action. Remember to consult your physician and follow their recommendations if you're at risk of developing these conditions. If you found this information helpful, Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit that follow button for more useful tips. And don't forget to check out the link in the description for more details on blood thinners. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.